Okay, so good afternoon to you all. So today I am going to discuss the basic of bioinformatics, that is how to search the nucleotide sequence of a gene, of a particular gene. Okay, so then later on we'll learn about how to search the protein sequence, that is amino acid sequence. So this is the basic of bioinformatics. So step by step we will go further. Later on we will learn about uh, sender sequencing, how to analyze of the uh, sender data using different bioinformatic tools. Then further we will go for NGS and the data, how to analyze the task from sequence, what are the way to check the quality of the sequence. Okay. Then all the bioinformatic tools we will discuss. So today I am starting with the basics, then one by one we will go further. So, if we want to search some sequence of a particular gene, what do we do? For that, first we have to go to the site that is called NCBI. So, in the book, you can type NCBI. Okay. Then, you can go to that page, NCBI page. Okay. We are opening it. So it is opening the NCBA page. You can go. Yes. So you can see NCBA is uh, now open. It is National Center for Bioinformatics and Formations. You see it is present in Bethesda, Maryland, that is uh, in the USA. So for searching the gene sequence, you will have to enter into the site. Internet is somewhat uh, slow, that's why it is taking time. Side will open. The, the, the site is ncbi.nlm.ai.gov. Okay. So, here this is the site here you can submit your own sequence and through any experience or any research you have uh, generated some data, you can submit it here. Okay. So throughout the world, uh, people can, uh, researcher can submit the data. So we can able to search any data is submitted or not. Nucleotide sequence, okay. So from the data, from this uh, chart, you can go to this nucleotide for searching the nucleotide sequence. Here you can see, our protein sequence also we have. So now in the nucleotide sequence, if you want to search for protein sequence, we can go to this protein. Now we are searching for nucleotide. For any genes, you can search. Suppose, for example, uh, you can go for growth hormone genes. You can search for growth hormone. of human okay for any species you can search any genes if it is available or it is submitted by anyone else okay so later on we will learn how to submit our sequence also suppose we have generated we have done sender sequencing so how we can submit uh, our sequence to the NCBA so NCBA is the database we know three types of database are there, NCBI, DDBJ, and EMBL. Okay, so uh, later on we'll discuss about uh, others too. Now we will learn about NCBI. Okay, here you can see human uh, human growth hormone genes. Okay, complete series it means complete your coding sequence. So we can open this.
is opening now. So here you can see the human growth hormone genes of the CTS. Here the uh, size of the genes is given in here, that is 2657 base pair. Okay, then XSM number is given here. Instead of uh, searching for the uh, from the name of the genes, you can get, uh, directly give in searching bar, you can give there this XSM number, then you can get this sequence also. Then you can see Homo sapiens taxonomic characteristics is given. All the uh, find the kingdom, all these things is given. Okay. Then uh, who is the author who have submitted this uh, sequence? It is given here. So this portion is called header portion. So this is the features portion. Here you can see the nuclear sequence is submitted one to uh, one is. Uh, 2657 base pair gene is from 497 to 2129 base pair. Okay, XN sequence is given here. XN means the coding part. Okay, and how many CDS that is coding sequences are, are there? You can see in between this sequence, like it is 559 to 568. Then in between, you have your intro. Then you have again, again exon. So intron exon is given here. So this is the nuclear sequence of your program of genes. Okay. So if you want to download the sequence, you have to go to this format. Here we are, we are in gene bank. Okay. So we can go to the first format. So that is the standard format for any analysis of your sequence. So if you want to download it, you can download from here, okay? So here you can see, it is a faster sequence. It is start with the greater than sequence, then extend number, then descriptions of the gene. Then it is written complex series, then it is your sequence, okay? After this, it, it, this is your sequence. So you can, what you can do, two way you can uh, get the sequence. Directly you can copy paste, copy paste this one. You can copy the sequence, you can copy only the sequence. Okay. Or you can you can then paste in text file. Okay. You can open any text file and you can do that. Or another way you have like send to here yeah, to here. Yeah. So complete record you can do it. Then uh, you can or you can take only this uh, coding uh, coding sequence or gene features. Okay, in which format we are uh, to download it in pasta. You can see you can select this pasta format, then you can click, click on create file. So this way also you can generate the file. Okay, so it will also generate a text file and for your all this data will be available. Okay, so this is the uh, directly you can copy paste into the text file or what you can do, you can create the your own file, you can export it, okay. Please export it, it is uh, exporting in master format. Okay. But we have copied this one, you can directly paste this, uh, this sequence in your, uh, this one, text file. So for that, you have to open any text file. This computer is not slow, so this way. Okay. And open the text file. And here you can you will see from new. Then you have text file. You can open it. You can give any name that file. Okay. Then any name you can give, then you have to open that file. After opening that, you can paste, uh, paste the sequence. And uh, uh, you can paste the sequence here. Okay. You can paste the sequence. You can see we have already pasted the sequence. This is the sequence for uh, so it is complex uh, sequence. Okay, it is submitted by some authors. I have already discussed the author's name. How we, uh, we can uh, get that name. Okay, so after uh, getting the sequence, you can use the sequence for 
other analysis uh, part there. Okay, so this is the basic I have discussed today about how we can get the nucleotide sequence of any gene from NCA. Okay, so that's all for today. Next day we'll discuss how to get the protein sequence. Okay. There is nothing in protein sequence. I hear instead of using this nucleotide, you can go to the protein sequence directly. Okay. Protein where it is, it is here. You can go. Or from the gene bank also, you can go. I will go into your table there. Okay. So, protein in this protein sequence. See, it is protein ID from this C. For, uh, for this gene is given, you can click on here. Also, from here, you can uh, click at the uh, protein sequence. So, here it is changed. Or uh, directly, you can change it to protein. Then, if you, uh, you can write down the protons of human. So, then you will get the protein sequence. Here, the protein sequence is 217 minus. In case of nucleotide, it is base pair. In case of uh, protein in it and okay. All the features are given in it, and here you have your protein sequence. If you want to uh, download the protein sequence, you can pass the for the protein. Then from there, same way, like oh, we have exported the uh, pasta for the nucleotide, you can export this one also, or you can definitely take the copy, uh, copy and you can paste it into the text. Okay, so this way uh, we can uh, do this. Uh, Finding the nucleotide and protein sequence of a particular gene. Okay, here you can paste. In this way you can search. So this is the basic only. Then, then next we will discuss uh, further how to analyze these things. Thank you all. Thank you.